The Justice League was taking a break from saving the world to watch a movie. They had chosen the popular anime film Dragon Ball Super Broly for their movie night. Halfway through the movie, something unexpected happened. The screen went blank. Then suddenly, they found themselves on a barren, icy field. The same field in which Goku and Vegeta fought Broly. They had somehow entered the Dragon Ball universe. To their surprise, they saw Broly charging towards them, rage filled in his eyes, ready for a fight. Superman stepped forward to intercept. His strength rivaled with Broly's and their clash caused a shockwave that reverberated across the field. Batman conjured a strategized plan, leveraging the unique skills of each member. Wonder Woman and Cyborg started executing the plan, moving with a purpose. Aquaman controlled the ice and water around the field, creating ice shards to distract Broly, while Flash used his speed to confuse Broly. Despite their efforts, Broly managed to hold his own against the League. His power seemed immeasurable, and he was relentlessly launching himself at them. Meanwhile, Batman was analysing Broly, realising that his strength was his biggest weakness. He was all rage, no strategy. Batman relayed his insights to the rest of his team. Taking advantage of the observation, they shifted their strategy to focus on outsmarting Broly rather than outpunching him. Flash began using his speed to create illusions, disorienting Broly. Meanwhile, Wonder Woman and Aquaman attacked from opposite sides, keeping him off balance. Cyborg was able to tap into the alien technology in Broly's armor. He triggered a malfunction which momentarily distracted Broly. This gave Superman a chance to land a powerful punch, sending Broly reeling. Yet, the Saiyan warrior was far from defeated. Broly returned with a vengeance. He summoned his maximum power, sending out a shockwave that knocked the Justice League off their feet. As they struggled to recover, it seemed like the odds were stacked against them. But the Justice League never backed down from a challenge. They regrouped, using Batman's strategic planning to take advantage of the icy environment and their unique abilities. Superman and Wonder Woman engaged Broly head-on, while the others executed the plan. The battle was intense, the outcome uncertain. Eventually, the Justice League's teamwork and strategic advantage started to wear Broly down, his relentless anger losing to their unwavering determination. Broly, not willing to accept defeat, pushed himself further, but his fury blinded him, causing him to fall into the League's trap. With a simultaneous blow from Superman and Wonder Woman, then a calculated strike from Aquaman, they finally managed to subdue Broly. Even though defeated, Broly stood tall. He acknowledged the Justice League's strength, a grudging respect in his eyes. Suddenly, they all were back in their reality. The movie resumed playing as if nothing had happened. They looked at each other in disbelief, questioning if it was all a dream. Yet, the bruises and the exhaustion were real. The memory of the formidable opponent Broly was as vivid as ever. They knew it was no dream. They finished the movie in silence, their minds filled with the incredible adventure they had experienced. The Justice League never looked at movie nights the same way again. Despite the unexpected challenge, they were grateful for the new experience. It reinforced their bond and their responsibility to protect not just their world, but all universes. They knew, if ever needed, they could reach deep within themselves, draw out unexpected strengths and always rise to the occasion, just like they did against Broly. Their movie night turned into an epic battle that was both a test and a testimony of their abilities. The Justice League had returned victorious, more determined than ever. 
For the Justice League, this was more than a movie night. It was a reminder of the strength of unity, strategy and perseverance enclosed in an unforgettable encounter with Broly. The experience also reminded them of their own unique powers and the importance of each member in the team, attributes that make the Justice League the protectors of the universe. And so, they continued to watch movies, all the while ready for the next unforeseen adventure that might pop up from the screen, for they were the Justice League, the saviors of the world. Their encounter with Broly was a testament to their unstoppable force. It wasn't a regular movie night for the Justice League, but neither was any day for them ever regular. As they stepped out into the night, ready for their next mission, they carried with them the lessons they learned from the battle against Broly. The movie might be over, but the story continues. Their movie night had turned into a classroom, a battleground, and a reminder of the importance of teamwork and strategy. The movie ended, but their resolve strengthened. The tale of their encounter with Broly was not just a story of victory, but also a tale of unity, strategy, power and teamwork, the core pillars of the Justice League. The Justice League might have returned to their world, but they left a part of their story in the Dragon Ball universe, a story that reminded them of why they are the Justice League. Their experience with Broly was unforgettable, and it became a legacy for the Justice League, a story of an extraordinary movie night that transcended dimensions. <laughs>